Hey there, it's Megan. Welcome back here to the Watchman Homestead. So this series that I am beginning is how to be a better homemaker, how to manage your home, your family, your meals, your dinner plans better, and how to do it with Jesus, with Yeshua at your center. I have learned over the eight years of being a homemaker that I need to try to find time for myself. (laughs) It is hard to pour from an empty cup. And those of you that are attempting to pour from an empty cup know what I'm talking about. And over the last few years, I have just found such a fullness in just having this quiet time to read my Bible, to study deeper, to be time in prayer, and focus on God. Because mornings come early (laughs) and children wake up. But these are the precious moments. Proverbs 31 verse 25 through 30. Clothed with strength and dignity, she can laugh at the days to come. When she opens her mouth, she speaks wisely. On her tongue is loving instruction. She watches how things go on in her house not eating the bread of idleness. Her children arise, they make her happy. Her husband too, as he praises her. Many women have done wonderful things, but you surpass them all. Charm can lie and beauty can vanish, but a woman who fears Adonai should be praised. In this series, I have written a blog and will probably write more, but I was looking up the word fear. That word fear is Strong's H4172, Mora. It's in Hebrew and it means fear, reverence, awe-inspiring. When I think about fearing God, I become overwhelmed with emotion because I don't have a feeling of fear like we would know it today, like a horror movie type fear, that type of fear. But I have a fear of like not being available to be in his presence, not being able to give him worship. That is the fear that I think of think of giving him reverence, of giving him respect, and just being in awe by how amazing God is, and the love that he has for us, for me, for my family, our children, for you, even though we're broken, he still sees us, he's El Roy, it's my... That was my word for God last year. El Roy, the God who sees. That he sees you in your season. He sees you in your trials. And he sees you in your your triumph. And he loves you. If God can love us in such a way, then we should do our best to love others in the same manner just reminds me of Colossians chapter 3 verse 12 through 17. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with feelings of compassion and with kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with one another. If anyone has a complaint against someone else, forgive them. Indeed, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must forgive. Above all these, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together perfectly. And let the shalom, which comes from the Messiah, be your heart's decision maker. For this is why you were called to be part of a single body and be thankful 
Let the word of the Messiah in all its richness live in you as you teach and counsel each other in all wisdom and as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with gratitude to God in your hearts. That is, everything you do or say, do in the name of the Lord Yeshua, giving thanks through him to God the Father. I just want to thank you for joining me here at the Walterman Homestead. I just pray blessings over you. And if you are wanting to learn more in maybe how I keep a clean house or keep things organized, there is a blog down in the description. I just pray that the Lord blesses you and that he keeps you, that his face shines upon you, and that he gives you his shalom. Till next time.